Hi, I'm Rebecca, and you are Choosing Health. Metabolic typing is the most advanced approach to nutrition that there is. It is a testable, repeatable, and verifiable nutrition methodology that's based on each person's individual um, genetic dietary requirements. It's a roadmap for how to eat properly. Take, for example, three different people, and you give those three people the same food. Well, that is going to lead to very different results. You can have one person that eats an orange and they can feel really good after eating that orange. Well, you give that orange to someone else, they don't really notice anything. You give that orange to a third person and they feel terrible. Why is this? Because we're all biochemically unique. I'm sure that you've heard the term biochemical individuality before. Well, that is the very essence of metabolic typing. We look different on the outside, we speak differently, we have uh, different ethnic backgrounds. Well, we're different on the inside, on a cellular level as well. And that's what's really great about metabolic typing is it's a nutrition approach that gets that concept. It's um, not a part of any other diet plan I've ever seen. And um, the, the essence of metabolic typing and biochemical individuality is that you need to find out what foods work for which person and then implement a diet plan that matches those. So with metabolic typing, when you get tested, you find out what your metabolic type is, you are given very clear instructions, a uh, food plan, color-coded food list, so that you can learn to eat right for your metabolic type and build health. You can't be healthy if you're not eating the right foods for your genetic dietary requirements. It simply can't happen. So metabolic typing gives you this amazing tool for how you can be your healthiest by testing what are called fundamental homeostatic control mechanisms. That's just a fancy way of saying that it looks at the very innermost uh, t way that your body can um, differ from someone else's body. We're talking autonomic nervous system, oxidative system, pH balance, blood type, constitutional type, etc, etc. Well, we're looking at 11 of those systems. Those systems govern every reaction that takes place in your body. So there's one of those systems in charge of, of thousands of uh, biochemical reactions that occur each day and you've got 11 of them being analyzed in metabolic typing so you can see it's very thorough and like I said it's testable and repeatable so I think it's the best nutrition program that exists and when you eat right for your metabolic type you're giving your body the proteins fats and carbs not only in the amounts that are required but also particular food selections for example, some metabolic types need dark meat chicken, others need light meat chicken. You might think, well, what's the difference? I mean, one has a little bit more fat, one's a little darker color, what's the big deal? Well, there's a huge deal because they're quite different foods. One of The dark meat chicken is higher in what are called purines, than, and light meat chicken is not. Well, certain metabolic types require more purines to thrive and produce the amount of energy that's required of them. And when they don't have purines, they don't feel nearly as well. They may get hungry more quickly or um, not focus mentally as well as they could be. So that's just one example. There's a lot I could give to you, but with metabolic typing, you're learning which of those foods uh, pertain best to you and are going to allow you to make the most energy and mental clarity and emotional well-being as possible and um, you're also given uh, guidance for how to improve your health not just dietarily although the dietary recommendations are amazing and like I said you can't be healthy can't be your healthiest I should say without eating correctly for your genetic needs 
but um, there's also guidance in terms of not only what, what foods do I need to put in my body, but what do I need to keep out of my body to be really truly healthy and avoid degenerative disease. So things like, uh, they're called blocking factors, things like perfumes, dyes, um, food colorings, food chemicals, molds, fungus, um, so it could be environmental, it could be in your home, it could be um, emotional stress, it could, it could be anything. There's a long list of um, different blocking factors that as a, an advisor I go through with my clients. Um, once we get the diet established, we look at those blocking factors and see if any of those are contributing to um, someone not feeling uh, their absolute best. So metabolic typing is, is incredibly holistic and it's really easy to do. You just do it one step at a time. The first step is to find out your metabolic type. Then you can start making changes to how you're eating. And then, like I said, move on and, and look at blocking factors later. But um, yeah, I think that that's a good introduction for all of you. And um, I, I will definitely be dropping more videos onto the site so that you can um, learn more, uh, more specifically about metabolic typing and other areas of nutrition and health that will um, allow you to feel motivated and want to make the most of your health. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.